Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. As I mentioned earlier in my various videos, whenever I see a diverse language model, it really warms up my heart because at the end of the day, we want this artificial intelligence spread all across the globe represented in every language, in every culture. That is why I strive hard to cover all of these non-English models so that we would have representation from across the planet. That is why in this video, I'm very excited to present you this brand new model Silma 9 billion instruct. Silma is an Arabic word which has several meanings depending upon the context, but more or less it relates to peace, safety, security and tranquility. So the name is quite nice. And as far as this model is concerned, which we are going to install locally and try it out on various Arabic benchmarks, it is a leading model at the moment and top ranked on Arabic um, leaderboard. It is 9 billion in parameter size and it has surpassed in quality lot of models in Arabic and few other languages which have much larger size. What makes Silma really exceptional is that it's a small language model outperforming 72 billion parameter models in most Arabic language tasks. So it is more practical for business use cases. Selma is built over the robust foundational models of Google Gemma, combining the strengths of both to provide you with both unparalleled performance. Selma is an open weight model free to use in accordance with their open license. The company behind it, Selma AI, seems also quite nice. I have been looking into it and they seems a you know, seasoned Arabic AI expert who understand the nuances of the language and cultural consideration and that is one of the foundational requirement when it comes to a non or diverse model because it has to be grounded in the cultural nuances otherwise if the context is missed especially in the complex languages like um, or rich languages like Arabic then it could really go way off and we have seen in various Arabic models which I have covered previously on the channel. So we are going to install it and we are going to see how it works. By the way, I'm not a Arabic speaker. I don't really understand it quite well. Maybe here and there some words. So I will be using a translator, a Google Translate to be specific to get the to get it tra translated from English to Arabic and then we will test it out in the model after installing it. Before I show you the installation, let me thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000. It's a 9 billion model, so hopefully it will fit on my GPU. So let's see. Let me first create um, a Conda environment. Okay, let me, sorry, not this one. Let me copy my command. Sometimes just copy paste doesn't work here, but anyway. Let me paste it now here. And let's wait for it to get activated. And my Conda environment is created and activated. Now let's install some of the prerequisites, which include Torch, Transformers, and TensePiece. Let's wait for it to get done. And the prerequisites are done. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and we will install and download the model in the browser. So let's wait for it to launch. And Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have just installed and specify the model id that is done and now let's use pipeline from transformer in order to download this model and then with the tokenizer of course and put it on our gpu and the model has started downloading there are five shards of it the size seems to be around this much so hopefully it will fit on our gpu which has 48 gb of vram so let's wait for it to finish and the model is downloaded and also it is now loaded on to our GPU with the tokenizer. Let's try to do the inference on it. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask it some Arabic prompts and then we will see what it uh, displays. So this is an Arabic sentence. If I take you to my Google Translate, it means write a letter apologizing to my boss for not coming today due to illness. Okay, so let me run it. And there you go. So you can already tell that it is a letter format. Let's try to translate it. Let me put it here. Okay, not this one. And there you go. So it looks like a good letter that may the peace, blessing and mercy of God be upon you. That is a usual Arabic greeting. And then it is a letter for the apology for not coming to work today as I feel to the point very concise and clear. Okay, that is good. Let's try out another one. Now in the next prompt, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check out a poetry. So this short sentence, it is, it primarily means in English, what does the seagull say? And it is a reference to a famous Arabic poem by Ahmed Shoki. So let's see what model does here. So let me run it. Let's wait for it to come back. Okay. It's, okay. You see, it is a seagull voice, which it has uttered. And if I go here and then so it seems that it has understood it quite nicely in my opinion that's correct okay let's try out another one next up i am asking the model to tell me how does the history has shaped up arabic civilization over the time let me run it let's wait for it to come back okay let's it, maybe i'll ask you to give me detail so now it has given me some detail as I change the prompt to add that give detailed answer and it has given me the detailed one. So let's see what it has said. Okay, let me copy paste it properly. Hmm, look at the answer. The answer looks really good. History is the nerve that gives lives to civilization. That's correct and is what distinguishes it from other civilization, Arab civilization has ancient history and then <clears throat> and then it talks about all the history, its knowledge and all that stuff, fairly good, amazing stuff and I'm really impressed by the quality of prose here, it looks really cool. Next up, I'm asking the model that how does they celebrate Eid al-Fitr which is a major festival in uh, Arabic world of course along with other parts of the world and it has given me the answer so let's check it out it says in my country we celebrate Eid al-Fitr in particular we call it Eid al-Sahur the day begins with a prayer in the mosque and then we return home and all that stuff so looks pretty good brownies and fruits in the evening he goes to the mosque again to pray then we go to home and enjoy dinner so all in all you can tell that it is already very much grounded in all the cultural nonsense, heritage and it is aware of all the practices. Also, it understands the um, native poetry. It's really wonderful stuff from Selma AI. I will drop the link to the model in video description. So if you are looking for a small Arabic language model, this might be a good choice these days. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.